for super cheap FIFA points to open up packs and get the highest rated players go to CD Keys. They have iOS and Android top-ups cheaper than retail with instant delivery. The links are in the description. Go check them out. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome to another episode of the FIFA Mobile Road to Glory. I would say that this is probably the most successful series I've ever had on my channel. And it came from a game that I wasn't planning to play longer than 10, 20 episodes, which is crazy. As we move into what was one of the best or the most thrilling, I should say, um, live events I think I've ever done. It was a penalty shootout against Wales and it doesn't sound that exotic really. But the amount of times that both of uh, myself and the, the, the CPU missed penalties were actually insane. I wasn't trying to, obviously. I wasn't trying to make it entertaining. That right there is probably one of the best saves you'll ever see. Leno down to his right. I dived late, managed to get there. All that for a Columbia Cup, which goes for like 800 coins. Marvellous. Let's move in to a brand new event that lasts for 30 plus hours. And that is the Club Champions uh, live event. Now it says win the game against one of the club champion teams to earn a, a, a player. It wasn't a game. It was literally just a scenario where I had to score three goals in ten attempts. I'm not quite sure whether they've messed up there or maybe they just messed up for me. I'm not quite sure. We got ourselves Odegaard from that live event which was probably not one of the worst but it definitely wasn't one of the best. That's for damn sure. I went to have a look at the back there. And then I went to the store to find that there were loads of club champion packs. I knew these were here anyway. I saw them announced. And I decided to open one with FIFA points. We get uh, two players guaranteed. Uh, Lionheart was the first one, the centre back. Now these players, for those of you who don't know, uh, we're going to wait two seconds just for the other player to get uh, uh, turned around. Kim Bo Kuing. I pro Ku Kuing? Ku no, never mind. Probably should have just spoke over that, really. Now, these players give a plus eight or five or whatever. They give a massive boost in stats to each other. So if I've got two or three of those players in my team, each stat, so like plus eight, plus eight, and plus eight, meaning 24, obviously, would be the boost of that particular stat. So we've got Lionheart, who's got plus 8 aggression, and the other guy's got plus 8 on tackling. Those two then would give a plus 8 boost to each other. If I bring someone else in, they're like Odegaard, who had, what, plus 5 tackling? That would boost that guy's tackling, or everyone's tackling, from 8, plus 5, to 13. Do you know what I'm saying here? So you could have a full team of boosted players would have insane stats, and that lasts until the 19th of December. I explained it like an absolute donkey, but it's easily uh, understood if you just go and read the back of these cards. It's not difficult at all. So for the next eight days, these players are going to be floating around a little bit. I imagine there's going to be a fair few live events. And after the 19th, the player just remains the rating that he is now. So Odegaard has had a plus four boost, which is still a nice boost. You know, there's a lot of decent uh, players in involved in this, a lot of good uh, elite players as well. So you might see a pack opening from the going forward, but we'll have to wait and see. That inform live event right there. I'm just going to spam it. I'm going to keep the tokens for next week. And then obviously when the informs get released next week, I'm going to try and make some money on it. There's point of me opening them now. This, things are just not worth anything. So this is the uh, op opponent, opposition, uh, going into the league game. I don't really show you a lot of the results from the league. I'm not quite sure whether you guys are actually interested in how the league goes. It's just something I do daily and something that I feel like I need to show you. Now, I'm, it's a little bit different today, though. Okay, there are a lot of goals in here. Uh, Pardo doing what I bought him for but there's a lot of misses as well now this is the elite Tim Howard that I'm facing right now and my god it may not look like it but he is an absolute legend between the sticks so much so that I'm considering selling Leno going down one rating because he's 83 rated going down one to 83 to get the uh, elite Tim Howard and then using the spare coins to go towards a, a midfielder to replace Arturo Vidal not quite sure whether I'm going to do that or not but this guy made so many saves in that final game I only scored twice the middle game I think I got five the first game I got eight but the amount of saves that he pulled off that I didn't show you were insane this guy can dive I mean I was impressed I was I was frustrated but I was also impressed we did end up winning that one which I'll show you in a second I probably should have showed you there and then but the uh, mobile master plans is complete. That is the first item ticked off, shall we say, on the 99 Royce path. I'm getting sick of this screen. It's making me ill every time I look at it. I'm just thinking, oh, I can't, I can't be dealing with it. The training grounds 
uh, event that we've been working towards for like the god knows how many episodes now. This is it. It's all come to fruition in this one event. An all pro pack lies at the end. We got 20 tokens. We unlock this live event. And uh, here we go with it. It's not a difficult one whatsoever. Although I did take me two attempts because it's it's difficult. It depends what player you've got, but it's difficult to gauge where you need to draw the line. You have to draw it to, to the left or to the right of each box because the, the 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 free kick essentially just goes wayward. It's really really weird. This is the all pro pack. It contains about three or four gold players and a couple of silvers and I think two uh, bronze in there as well. We get Aston Villa centre back James Chester. Very nice. Payne, which is. Very uh, descriptive of my pack luck on FIFA Mobile recently. We get a CSK um, bronze centre mid. We get Grey, who's never going to be used really, but I'm probably going to check into the team anyway. We get another Aston Villa player, striker that I'm never going to use. We get another bronze player with a ridiculously long name. We get a silver player, and then finally we get an MLS player at the end. The MS Cup player, I might add, that is pretty much useless now because that event is done. Ladero. Um, and Seattle Sounders obviously went on to win that. So Ladero, if you've got one, will get boosted to a 92 rated player on Monday night, which is uh, which is cool beans because I have one on my second account. We got three league tokens for winning that league uh, that you saw me compete in earlier, which I probably should have showed you earlier, but I wanted to end on this screen. We are now two league victories away from me completing the league master section of Marco Royce. The Royce thing is getting knocked off really really quickly we've completed the plans we've completed the leagues we've now got the what was the live events to go well, that'll come with time and then we've got the um i probably should show you on screen really what we've got but i've got the um seasons and of course the attack mode now that's the question i'm going to leave you with here because i need your answers in the comment section please i'm going to be going through this extensively the attack mode how do you want me to do it? Do you want me to not bother showing you anything? Do you want me to show you like I do with the league? Just like, you know, like 30 seconds worth of clips, me scoring goals? Do you want a live, proper full live episode, sort of like 15, 20 minute episode of me just doing attack mode and just talking about FIFA Mobile and maybe I'll answer, go through some questions that you've got in the comment section or whatever. You know, how do you want me to do it? Please let me know in the comment section because I don't really know how to put it together. Because if you're not interested, I don't want to show it to you. It's just a waste of time. So let me know down below. That's going to do it for today's episode. I'll be back again tomorrow with yet another FIFA Mobile Road to Glory. If you've enjoyed it, do me a favor and smack the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, of course. And I shall see you guys then. Till then, goodbye.